Hello, uh, my name is Nancy McGorry Richardson, and I'm the Education and Outreach Director for Hemispherics Biopharma. And I'd just like to provide an update to the committee and to all those watching about our progress. As previously reported, uh, working with the Whitmore Peterson Institute, Hemispherics has monitored blood from patients from our phase three study, Ampligen 516. The collaboration was to evaluate for the presence of antibodies directed against XMRV in blood samples from chronic fatigue syndrome patients. The results suggest that XMRV antibody positive cohort had a greater relative percent of patients showing a greater than or equal to 25% increase in their exercise treadmill duration with amplogen treatment compared to the placebo, which was the XMRV antibody negative cohort. So in order to facilitate our next phase of the collaboration with the Whitmore-Peterson Institute, um, we have expanded our AMP 511 protocol to include monitoring for XMRV uh, to investigate a possible relationship between the magnitude of response of amplogen and XMRV viral activity. We currently have a number of new clinical sites opening for the AMP 511 open label cost recovery treatment protocol. We were also expanding a number of virus signatures that we are evaluating, including work with Chronix Biomedical, where we are using highly sophisticated equipment for next generation sequencing of serum DNA. The Chronix team is assessing whether there may be a unique serum DNA sequence in the blood of CFS patients. In the next several months, we anticipate um, making a formal presentation. Uh, Hemispherics conducted a ninth clinical investigators meeting in March in Florida, which was attended by a number of the prominent scientists and clinicians, including some who serve on this committee. Um, while discussions included the progress of amplogen with immune-enhancing compound for both cancer and viral vaccines, a large portion of the meeting uh, was focused on CFS and amplogen as a potential therapeutic. Dr. Judy Mikovits, Research Director for the Whitmore Peterson Institute um, did a detailed review of the discovery of XMRV and MLV variants found in CFS as well as new data on these variants. The XMRV genome may contain a hormonal response element that may be explained in the disorder of the adrenal stress response pathway in some of the CFS patients. She also discussed a cellular resistance mechanism as a possible human genetic factor in XMRV infection. Dr. Maureen Hansen, professor of the Department of uh, Mo excuse me, Molecular Biology and Genetics at Cornell University, presented corroborating results of her analytical work with Dr. David Bell on the presence of XMRV markers in pediatric CFS cohort. During the meeting, we also had the Wall Street Journal, and they did a, uh, a good article called The Puzzle of Chronic Fatigue that uh, was by, um, on the CFS patients studied by Dr. Hansen and Dr. Bell. Uh, we recently attended the NIH State of Knowledge meeting and will be attending the IACFSME meeting and the NJCFSA. We believe the future holds great promise as we continue to work with various research and examine unique patient signatures captured by this unique chronics technology as well. Thank you. Thank you.